Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is GPS. Beloved family, our text says, Fools follow their own directions and think they are right, but wise people listen intently to advice. A fool's anger is quickly evident, but a clever person knows how to hide his flaws. A faithful witness speaks the truth, but a false witness utters lies. Proverbs 12, 15 to 17. Whenever we go on a journey, we use the GPS navigation system. It has become our go-to app for traveling. Many of us use our navigation system or GPS to find our way back home. If we are lost or have to be at a certain destination, it tells us where to go, where to turn, where to avoid, and directs us to our destination. Trust in the Lord completely. And do not rely on your own opinions. With all your heart, rely on him to guide you. And he will lead you in every decision you make. Become intimate with him in whatever you do. And he will lead you wherever you go. Proverbs 3, 5-6 Did you know that the GPS system was developed by the United States military? In fact, the GPS, or Global Positioning System, technology is a U.S. military-owned utility that provides users with positioning, navigation, and timing services. The system consists of three segments, the space segment, the control segment, and the user segment. The U.S. Air Force develops, maintains, and operates the space and control segments. The space segment consists of 24 operating satellites located above the Earth in space that gives the current satellite location and timing. The control segment consists of worldwide monitor and control station that maintain the satellite on their proper orbits. And the end user segment is the third segment that you and I interface with. It receives the GPS signal from the satellite to give us our position and current location. I know many are saying right now, I don't need to know how it all works. I just want to ask my app for the navigation directions and how to get where I'm going. But isn't it interesting that our ability to get real-time directions for our destination was created and is administered and maintained by the government? They are in control of our destination, and we don't think twice about it. We trust that the directions is coming from an authority that is able to see our beginning and our end. But listen, family, if we can allow the government to give us the directions to where we're going through the GPS system, we can surely allow the kingdom of God to give us directions for our destiny. It is in his control. He sees the end at the beginning. All we have to do is trust him. God has the global positioning systems over the earth, and he is able to direct us and send signals as to where we should go. Our steps are ordered the right way if we trust our Lord God. And our kingdom government also has a GPS system for its citizen, and it has space and control segments. The very first GPS system was a pillar of fire by night and a cloud by day. Exodus 13, 21 says, By day the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light. God guided them all the time. He was and is their GPS. Our Heavenly Father looks down and He knows where we are. In fact, our Lord Jesus Christ has been there. He has experienced everything we have experienced, so he knows how we feel. 
But God is not just looking at our physical position. King Jesus is looking at our disposition and our mental and spiritual position because he understood it, he felt it, and he lived it. Because guiding our minds to trust him is more difficult than giving us directions. In the kingdom of God, the GPS is God's positioning system. The Holy Spirit is there to renew our minds and change our thinking and allow us to have a mindset to follow Christ as he leads us. God is in control. He either arranges or allows every test in our lives. Before we can go on the road, we have to pass the driver's air test. Likewise, we have to pass the test set by God before we go on our journey. God may show us the destination as he did Moses and Abraham without giving us the complete direction. He just says, trust and follow me. So we have to trust and follow our God to get to our destiny, which is already placed in us. King Jesus was navigated by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness for 40 days to be tested before he began his journey, his ministry of redemption for the people of God. God test Jesus Christ. In other words, he said, let me test myself. God himself has to test us before he trusts us. Today, GPS is everywhere. You can find the GPS systems in our cars, our smartphones, and on our watches. But whose voice are we listening to? When Jesus told his disciples to follow me, they saw where he went. But if we can't see, we can only trust to walk by faith. Even though life journey gets difficult sometimes, don't be afraid. Trust God. Continue to walk by faith and walk to the destiny that he has planned, that destination already pre-programmed in us. In life, the Holy Spirit is our personal navigation guide and helper. He helps us by giving directions, showing roadblocks and warnings about directions in our lives that we should not take or we should change. God says he knows the plan for us to give us a future and a hope. The word future is expected in. When I follow the navigation system, I'm expecting it to take me to that destination. We have an expected end in Christ. God completes his good works according to his good pleasure. He wants to bring us to our destination he prepared beforehand. God, give us our daily bread. Give us the way we should go. Give us life and love. Show us the path of righteousness, Father, and take us to our destination by your Holy Spirit, our personal GPS. Much love.